Today I would like to share a tip about cultivating a daily gratitude and pride practice. This exercise is perfect for anybody looking to boost their self-esteem or manage their depression or anxiety. You might already be familiar with the concept of a gratitude practice, which centers on the idea of finding things in life that you're grateful for. A pride practice is very similar as it kind of looks at your life and the things that you're actually proud of. Why is a practice like this important? So often we can be our worst critics, focusing on our mistakes and perceived flaws rather than celebrating our progress and achievements in the areas we actually care about. This practice can be especially helpful if you are someone who finds yourself constantly caught in a loop of overthinking, replaying conversations and events over and over in your head. So what does it mean to be proud? Take a look at your life and your day-to-day -day interactions. What are your values? What are the things you care about? How do you treat others? How do you treat yourself? What do you genuinely like about yourself? So often we're so focused on the negative that we miss the bigger picture of what makes us who we are and what our strengths are. The daily pride practice allows us to take an inventory of our character and the wonderful qualities we possess, shifting our focus. The daily pride practice allows us to take an inventory of our character and the wonderful qualities we possess, shifting our focus from our perceived flaws to our unique strengths. Just like a gratitude practice can strengthen our relationship and connections with others, a pride practice can strengthen our relationship with ourselves, boosting our confidence, acceptance, and self-care. To cultivate a daily gratitude and pride practice, you need to get a dedicated journal to keep on your nightstand, commit five to 10 minutes at the end of your day to reflect, Identify one thing that you are grateful for and one thing that you are proud of. It can be anything from your day or anything from your general life. Once you've identified what you're grateful and proud of, take as much time as you can to write about them in detail in your journal. Explore the details, emotions, and significance that each of the events holds for you. The only rule to this exercise is that there are no repeats. I'd love for you to really push yourself to find new things to be grateful for and proud of each day. This process can be really powerful as it helps to create new neural pathways in your brain to help you see your, the world and yourself differently. Remember, what you're grateful for and what you're proud of can vary day to day. Some days might be harder than others, but that's okay and that's expected. Sometimes you might have something that's really significant that you're excited to write about, but more often I, I'm sure you'll find that it's the little things that matter. Good luck on your journey and take care.